Good morning, children. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, children. Last class we have discussed about Hitler's rise to power, and when he acquired political power, he appointed an economist. Okay, what was the name of the economist? Hmm. What was the name of the economist appointed by Hitler to achieve economic progress? Jalin. Any idea? M. Scat. Hmm. M. Scat. Halma. Halma Sachet. Okay, Halma. Shasit. Okay, was the person was the famous economist. Okay, appointed by uh, Hitler to achieve economic progress for Germany. Okay, and the German superhighways and the people's car Volkswagen. Okay, all these are produced during the time of um, this period. Okay, during this time, and slowly Germany they recovered from its financial crisis. Okay, and uh, the people, as uh, Hitler promised to the people that he could give employment to the people, he could uh, uh, means restore the dignity of the Germans. So many things he promised to the people. So to fulfill all his promises, okay, Hitler worked okay for a better Germany, okay for the growth of uh, better Germany. and he invested a huge amount on rearmament for armed weapons and all okay so sashit advised him okay so halmer advised him don't do invest don't not to invest huge money on uh, armament okay rearmament but hitler was not ready to hear his advices okay so halmer he want to leave from germany okay then the next aim of hitler so hitler was very confident about his strength because he promised means what all promises he had given to the people he fulfilled okay some of this he made the uh, means the economy of germany stable so his next aim okay his next aim was to conquer or to establish his power over the european countries okay so he started okay an expedition to conquer the countries of uh, eastern europe okay then also he achieved many success okay that is he acquired rhineland and he integrated austria with germany okay and he also restored his power over sudetenland from czechoslovakia and go built up the entire country okay so hitler was very confident and he chose war as the way out of the approaching economic crisis okay he chose war as a measure to get rid of this economic crisis that led to the second world war okay till here we have discussed in the last class children so next we will move to the germans okay and second world war see children in september 1939 germany invaded poland that mark the beginning of the second world war okay so when uh, hitler when he achieved economic progress okay in germany his next aim okay next aim was to conquer the countries okay conquer the eastern uh, means eastern european countries so he invaded hitler invaded poland in the year 1939 that mark the beginning of the second world war okay then so poland okay poland can you see the ink children do i need to change this color no ma'am okay no, ma so poland was supported by england and france 
Okay, see children, I have told you when Hitler, uh, when Hitler conquered or reoccupied Rhineland and when he made integrated Austria with Germany and also he established his power over Sudetenland. Okay, in all these times, England had unspoken support to Germany. Okay, England gave a silent support to Germany because England thought that the Versal Treaty was a very harsh and humiliating one. Okay, so England did not resist against Germany. Okay, England gave a silent support to Germany. But when Germany invaded Poland, okay, when Germany invaded Poland in the year 1939, that time, England and France, okay, England and France declared a war against Germany, okay, and in the year 1940, a tripatriate pact, please note it down children, it is very important, a tripatriate pact was signed between Germany, Italy and Japan. Okay, so here also a tripatriate pact, here also. Okay, Poland, England, and France. Okay, so these people, okay, so when Germany, England, Poland, England and France supported Germany, they declared war against Germany. Okay, at the same time, Germany entered a pact with. Italy and Japan, that is Tripatriate Act. And according to the terms of this Tripatriate Pact, if any of these countries, that means Italy or Japan or Germany, if it is being attacked by any other European countries or any other countries, it would defend each other. Okay, that was the terms included in this Tripatriate Pact. Okay, so children, I hope... Uh, you are following me. Is it children? Yes, ma'am. Okay. See, um, when uh, Hitler... Any doubt? Someone's audio, it is not muted. Okay. See, children, England at first very silent. Okay, it was very silent or gave a passive attitude against Germany. Okay, but when, but when Germany invaded Poland, okay, England and France supported Poland, okay, and they declared war against Germany. Germany at the same time in the year 1940, a tripatriate pact. Okay, was signed between Germany, Italy, and Japan. Okay, Germany, Italy, and Japan. And according to the terms of this treaty, if any of these countries is attacked by any other European countries, okay, it would defend each other. That was the uh, terms included in this tripatriate pact. Okay, so with the support of Italy and Japan, Hitler, again, he become very powerful. Okay, he, he was very confident about his country and he started towards the countries in Eastern Europe. He wanted to establish his power over the countries of Eastern Europe and he conquered many of the countries. Okay, and some, if someone is not... If anyone is not ready to accept his power, he used to crush them. Okay, he used to crush them and he installed a puppet regime. What do you mean by puppet regime? Puppet. Have you heard about this, children? Puppet regime? Can you tell me? Are you here, children? Yes, not. Uh, yes, oh, what do you mean by puppet? Yes, oh, what do you mean by puppet? Mammy, it, means, it means the ruler of other country oh. will be a puppet. 
Is it like? Ah, yes. Like a mm, toy. I... Okay, like a toy. That means Hitler is really handling the administration of that uh, country. Okay, because they all will do. See, under when the Britishers were here, okay, in colonial India, okay, when India was a colony under the Britishers, they merely, okay, they had set up a puppet rule over here. What does it mean, children? The Indian rulers will obey what all things was asked by the Britishers. Okay, so here also, when he conquered, okay, when he achieved his control over the other countries. Okay, he instilled a puppet regime in most of the countries in European countries. I will show you the map, children. In this, you can see that. See, here in this map, in this green colored countries, okay, where all Hitler have established his control in all these places. Okay, he instilled, if anyone has resisted his power, he used to crush them. Okay, or defeat them. Okay, so he installed a puppet regime over in this region and he was at the highest pinnacle of his victory. That means he was it's, I, at his maximum power when it comes to 1940. Okay, so Hitler was very confident. He got support from Italy and Japan. And he become very strong, okay, with the company of these two countries. So he wanted to set, okay, he wanted to conquer the Europe, okay, Eastern Europe. So he started an expedition and he invaded Poland in the year 1939 that marked the outbreak of the Second World War. When Poland was attacked by Germany, these two countries, that means England and France, gave support to Poland and they declared war against Germany. Okay. And with the support of Italy and Japan, Hitler moved to achieve his long-term aim of conquering Eastern Europe. Okay, and he wanted to ensure food and living space for the Germans. Okay, he wanted to give food and living space for the German because at that time, most of the areas after the First World War, most of the areas of Germany was captured okay, by the Allied powers. So he wanted to ensure free, uh, uh, better life for the Germans. Okay, so that he wanted to conquer Eastern Europe. Okay, and but okay, but he has made a historic blunder. Okay, that he attacked Soviet Union in the year 1941. In the in year 1941, he attacked Soviet Union. Okay, and in this historic blunder, Hitler exposed the German Western Front to the English aerial bombing and Eastern Front to the Soviet uh, armies. That means, you know, children, from the western parts, okay, when the western parts of Germany is facing attack from the England. And in the eastern part, okay, Germany attacked invasion from the massive Red Army of Soviet Union. That means USSR, Russia. Okay, so both this side, Okay, from the eastern part and also from the western part, Germany faced attacks from these two countries, from England and Russia. Okay, so this action of Hitler, that means Hitler attacked the Soviet Union in the year 1941. This action of Hitler, okay, is criticized by the historians, okay, historians as a historic blunder. Okay, because he was in war with the England. Okay, he attacked Poland. So England and France is uh, uh, means, uh, means attacking. Okay, Poland, England and France is attacking against Germany. At the same time in the year 1941, Germany attacked Soviet Union or Russia. Okay, so from both sides. Okay, that means from the western part, Germany is facing attack from England. From the eastern part, Germany is facing attack from Russia. 
okay so it could not be means it was a means an impossible task for hitler to sustain all this attack from these two parts okay so that it is known as so that it is known as a historic blunder okay and at the same time the soviet army inflicted a crushing and humiliating defeat on germany at stalingrad hitler could not sustain for long okay he was defeated hitler was defeated by the soviet army okay soviet army he could not uh, okay sustain for long okay and at the same time japan okay and another okay uh, means uh, allied power of uh, uh, he, uh, germany was expanding it also wanted to expand its power over the european countries okay and it also occupied into china and was planning to attack the us naval base in the pacific okay and when Germa japan extend its support to hitler and its bombed please children please note it down it bombed the us base at pearl harbor but us okay till that time us was there in the war okay it gave a passive reaction against the world war 2 can you guess why children because of economic problem very good very good sri hari because after the first world war what it happened a severe economic crisis crisis was happened over there in us okay because of the wall street exchange okay the because of the crash in the wall street exchange tragedy okay so that at first okay us was not ready or it gave a passive uh, reaction against to the second world war okay so us was not there in the scene okay in the beginning of the second world war but when japan attacked us base at pearl harbor okay when japan attacked us a naval base at pearl harbor us entered the second world war okay so with the entry of us into the second world war the allied powers they become more strength okay they acquired more power so they can easily defeat germany italy and japan okay and the war entered in the year may 1945 with hitler's defeat hitler was defeated by the allied powers okay and the u.s dropping of the atom bomb on hiroshima and nagasaki in japan have you heard about this hiroshima and nagasaki uh, yes, even yeah yes, yes okay aerial bombing okay this u.s okay they showered the atomic bomb over hiroshima and nagasaki in japan that was the end of the second world war okay see children we have means we have discussed or we have got a brief outline about the second world war okay see uh, we have discussed only about this allied and axis powers but more means more than 100 countries okay directly or indirectly had participated in this war okay and it led to the death of millions of innocent people okay so here we have to move to the uh, means portion which we have started our chapter we have started our chapter about helmuth do you remember a child he overheard okay his father is saying to his uh, mother okay that the allied powers will come and will kill us do you remember children Okay, yes, because, uh, because after the end of the Second World War, Germany was defeated and the Nazi followers, the people, those who supported Hitler, okay, the people, those who supported Hitler, they were worried, okay, that they will come and they will kill them. Okay, so he committed suicide. So, Helmut's father, he committed suicide. Okay, see, children, let me revise the points which we have discussed right now. So when Hitler, when he acquired political power, okay, he was very confident. He gave many promises to the people. Okay, what all was his promises? 
what all promises he given means he had given to the people he will mean uh, many employment ah oh, yes he, he give employment uh, he promised employment for the youth he will restore the dignity of germans right yes ma'am yes, ma okay so he wanted to achieve a full production with full employment okay and he appointed an economist okay what was the name of the economist na halma sashit yes halma sashit okay then in his foreign policy also hitler acquired quick success okay he reoccupied rhineland okay rhineland was a part of germany it was the rich mineral area and after the first world war when um, hitler okay when germany failed to repay the loans france occupied rhineland so germany under hitler he reoccupied rhineland is it clear children Man. Okay, then he integrated Austria. Okay, which was a part of Germany before he integrated it with Germany under the slogan. What was the slogan? One people, one empire, and one leader. Okay, then he then went on to rest German-speaking Sudeten land from Czechoslovakia. Okay, so for all this action, England gave a silent support to Hitler because England thought that the Warsaw Treaty it is very harsh and humiliating one. Okay, so England they did not do anything against Germany, and Hitler he was very confident about his power, and he moved. Okay, he moved towards the European countries. Okay, then. in the year 1939 he attacked okay hitler attacked poland that was the beginning of the second world war okay that marked the beginning of the second world war okay then till that time england gave a silent support to germany but when germany invaded poland okay france and england supported poland and they declared war against germany okay then in september 1940 that is very important children try patriot pact which all countries who signed this pact and germany italy oh, and japan germany yeah, japan and italy these three countries signed a try patriot pact okay according to this uh, pact if any of these countries okay either germany japan or italy if they were attacked okay if any of these countries were attacked by any other european countries or any countries okay they would defend each other okay that was the terms included in this one so with the support of italy and japan japan hitler okay he become very strong he was very confident and he moved towards the countries of you know eastern europe and he instilled a puppet regime in all over these countries okay those who uh, raised their voice against him he used to crush them okay and he was at the, the height of his maximum power in the year 1940 okay he wanted to provide food and uh, living space to the people of germany so that he wanted to conquer many of the countries that means he wanted to pro achieve economic progress okay that was the main aim of the hitler okay and but hitler he done a historic blunder okay what was his blunder children Mm -hmm. attack soviet union ah oh, yes okay he attacked soviet union in the year 1941 okay because he he was in war okay with england okay england and france and poland so the western front okay he is facing attack from england and the eastern front he is facing attack from the massive red army of russia okay soviet union so he can't sustain more 
okay so the soviet army they had a strong victory okay he inflicted a crushing and humiliating defeat on germany at stalingrad and they reached at the heart of berlin the capital of germany okay then at the same time japan okay uh, was also okay japan also wanted to expand its power okay towards the eastern europe and it also occupied indo china and it also was planning to attack us naval base at uh, pearl harbor okay so um I means uh, till that time us was not there in the scene okay of the second world war after the first world war us was economically hit okay by the us I means the exchange tragedy okay so us gave a passive reaction against world war 2 but when japan attacked us base at pearl harbor us entered into the second world war so that it is known as means when hitler attacked soviet union it's um, regarded as a blunder okay and the war ended in the year may 1945 with hitler's defeat okay hitler was defeated and also japan okay japan faced atomic bomb explosion okay and the hiroshima and nagasaki so it came to an end okay so children after the second world war we have already discussed okay an international military tribunal was set up near anberg to prosecute the nazi criminals okay and they have sentenced 11 nazi uh, leaders okay uh, they have executed 11 nazi uh, leaders okay because it all they have seen that it is a war against humanity okay millions of people millions of innocent people were lost their life many of them injured okay and the world okay it moves to a economic depression okay because of the war okay so these all points we have discussed now we have discussed uh, means as means a short outline okay now you have got an outline about the second world war okay is it clear to you children is there any points do i need to repeat in any of the points children is it clear yes ma'am okay so shall shall we move to the new topic next topic yes ma'am okay so children till now we have discussed about uh, okay the political and the economic condition of germany before the first world war after the first world war and before the second world war okay so all these points we have discussed and we have seen that the economic crisis the great economic depression hyperinflation okay all this was affected by germany and even the germans they do not have even uh, means even uh, they do not have uh, food or shelter right so during this situation a leader a strong man okay or uh, means came to help them okay to recover from this situations okay so till now we have discussed about this uh, the situations after the first world war and the incidents that lead to the second world war okay now we will discuss about hitler and what all his policies okay what I means his party what was the party founded by him nazi party hmm? yes Sorry. okay so we will discuss nazi. what are yes nazism okay so what are the features of nazi party okay now we are going to discuss about all this one and you know children we have shall we move to the new topic children yes ma'am oh. so nazis ideology <clears throat> that is the next topic children <clears throat> nazism okay see um, the when hitler okay he was he was only a messenger in the army okay that we have already discussed before and he just joined with a party 
and subsequently he took over that party and he became okay he became the leader of that party and at first the nazis okay they did not uh, they could not earn much followers but later it become a single means a majority political party in germany okay but the means the nazis okay the uh, nazi ideology it synonymous with hitler that means what all ideas that hitler had was the same uh, children someone's audio it is mu not muted okay so the same ideas or same um, ideas okay that is followed by nazism okay so according to nazis there was no equality among the people okay there was no equality among the people and hitler believed in racial hierarchy what do you mean by racial hierarchy according to him okay according to him there is no equality among the people and he considered okay the blue eyed blond blue eyed nordic german aryans on top what is blond means blond color ah okay um pale and uh, yellow yellow color okay hair then blue eyed okay blue eyed germans aryans okay aryans were the superior he believed that this blue eyed german aryans on top and the jews on the lowest rug okay so racial hierarchy means that he considered okay he uh, he did not uh, means treated equally okay he did not uh, treated every uh, person as equal in germany and according to him uh the people okay the people were ranked on the basis of their race and blue blond blue eyed german aryans were considered in the top okay considered in the top and the jews were the lowest okay and the jews were considered as the arch enemies of hitler okay see children these points this is nazi ideology we will discuss on the next class children is the time to wind up our class now let me